Hey guys, John with Off-Grid Homesteading. Today is December 2nd, 2018. And uh, we got some cold weather coming in. Today was the first day after rains and crazy weather that we were able to go ahead and uh, start getting the metal out and start to skirt uh, the trailer and uh, get that going. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna start that today. I hope we can finish it today. Now we gotta take care of a couple of the animal coops and stuff like that. Backhoe is uh, on the back burner today. Um, I was supposed to work on that today, but uh, the cold weathers are dictating getting this done first. So, um, anyway, hope you're doing well, and uh, thanks for watching the channel. Catch up with you soon. Bye bye. So I did a little bit of uh, groundwork here, just to even things off, without having to do it all by hand. That way I can just do, uh, I have a more consistent strip of metal that I'll be able to cut from right there in just a minute. But we took a break to come over here and to help Kelly get the Get the chicken coops and stuff kind of winterized, wind broken, stuff like that. North is over there. So this way keep the north wind out from here. Keep it from coming straight down the wind tunnel. You wanna tell us what you're doing? Today's December 2nd. I'm just trying to winterize. So anyway, we just wrapped this. This was, this was the plastic that was left over from covering up the trailer and a bunch of stuff. So we got uh, basically top piece put right there. The bottom strip on the bottom just to keep that from blowing away. Got, got this side done. They're all on the glass table by the house. Right there. And then... Uh, had some of this blue plastic, like shipping material and stuff we had for quite some time. Use it for all kinds of things. Just put that there. And just give them a little bit more resilience. Now over here we'll just probably put a board, something up here just so that we can open and close it easily. I don't need to cover the front door that just lets them have some fresh air and so on and so forth but yep we're moving all this crap and stuff out of the way throwing out out of the trash in the back of the uh, truck so that we can drop that off now 
they've actually gone around the entire house and put a mark where the metal's going to come up to. And we'll have to do a filler piece of cedar, something in there around the whole uh, trim or the base of the house so that it looks consistent because we've got different height uh, joists. We got uh, 8 inch there, 12 inch there, 12, 12, 8, and then it changes on the back side. And then we got 10s. So 12 on this end. Twelve on this end. Oh no, these are eights. That's twelve. None there, because our board's coming all the way down to the base of it. And then these are tens. Okay, it's only 6.30 and I was able to, so I just backfilled it with a little bit of dirt and tamped it down so that we created a seal across the bottom of that. And uh, so the east side has been done. Now I keep working all the way around. Hey guys, got the generator running for December 3rd the next day. I was able to get the east side up last night, kind of get an idea of how I'm doing this. I'm going to start working on the north side today on the skirting and uh, see how much we can get done. All right.
Okay, so here's the skirting. This is the first uh, day's attempt of building the framing and getting it going. We had to run into town, so we only had about uh, just a third of the day left. I was able to get one frame up, one piece cut and put in place. Down here I want to put some sort of a door so I can get to my uh, gas uh, on off and everything right there. <clears throat> and then uh, I think the rest of the stuff should go faster than this was before because we don't have all these uh, custom cuts and stuff to do along the way. But we will see. So tomorrow I should be able to get a full day of, uh, of this in. Maybe if we're lucky we'll get it all finished tomorrow. Cross our fingers. Good uh, morning. Today is December the 4th. It's about 30 degrees uh, ish out here. And um, anyway, going to be continuing to work. I got more uh, sides and stuff to do. Uh, we got a good uh, five or six hours today to work on this. So hopefully we can get around the corner and maybe even make the west side. We'll see how it goes. But um, let me go ahead and put it on uh, freeze frame, not freeze frame, time lapse. And you can watch the, some more of the progress.
right, today is December the 5th, continuing on. Uh, we're going to finish up the uh, northwest side, the west side, and hopefully get to all the south side. We have to get it done today, so i got to get rolling. Here it goes. This is December 6th. Looks like uh, the winter storms are coming in in the next day or so. And I uh, just wanted to show you the finished work. Sorry it took a few days to get this done, but we had other things we had to do in between and running in town and cut our days in half and it just is what it was. So let me walk you around and show you what it looks like so far. Okay, so this is the east side. Northeast side. We've got a special access panel down here for our gas area. This will become eventually a raised bed of some sorts uh, to accommodate any water and stuff coming off the top there, which will then uh, will perforate this and then it'll take all the water strictly directly out. I went ahead and did all this, put the, the steps and stuff back, tied those in. turning out pretty good so far here. Haven't finished the dirt work yet. I just put dirt up to it to kind of angle it away from the house. So this is the north end. Northwest end here. Let's see where our water is accumulating here. Brought the pole over on this side. I'm going to get some gravel. We're going to just do gravel inside there just to have a nice drain away from the house. And then our uh, washer dryer again is uh, going into this pipe, which will continue to perforate this and everything will and bring everything out. It's the west end here. Yeah, this last two pieces down here on the west end and on the uh, south end, I just grabbed a couple of pieces to put up against this to close it off last night. This will be redone where these, uh, these extra pieces will actually be on the other side of that metal. So you won't see this, uh, this ridge coming down, there will just be a small little crease underneath, but it will look, uh, look a lot better. But this was the functional part for today. Um, here's where our water system and stuff comes out. Got another access panel right here where I can remove this and get directly to that. I still have to plumb in the um, septic once we get the backhoe uh, fixed, which we haven't done yet because I've been working on this. So here's again the south end. Looks pretty awesome, I think. And then Rotozip. What an awesome tool with the metal blade. This is what is used. I used to cut all of this material. Nice lines too. Let's see, and then we'll put some sort of a block or piece over the end, just like in the Reclaim Space website. So, I think all this looks real good. All right. Thanks for watching.